Welcome aboard everyone, Simon here from the Wells of Wall Street, US Ultra. We love gaming projects here at the Wells of Wall Street. Ultra is no different. Uh, we've done an intro video to these guys. We've done uh, covering videos uh, every few days or certainly each week. Um, so guys, I have downloaded the Ultra platform. Uh, we're looking forward to doing a video uh, for you guys early next week just showing you around the platform and different kind of games that are available uh, but for those that don't know about UOS or Ultra or brand new to the channel welcome first of all but this is basically kind of like if if you think of Steam okay so those who know Steam it's like a basically a desktop app that you can download um, for your PC uh, you can basically download pretty much most games on it as uh, so you can like play FIFA etc on there um, and usually the, the reason behind that is because you can build the library you can download digitally ie directly uh, you don't have to go and buy discs or anything like that and a lot of laptops and things for example recently um, you know, don't don't have CD players and stuff like that so for me personally I use Steam for that aspect but the advantage of Ultra being blockchain related is allowing um, the infrastructure of just general games to be coming on their platform, but also uh, DeFi related games. So we're talking about NFT interoperabilities, the ability I'm sure in the future when the metaverse fully kicks off, the Ultra will be allowing things like you jumping in and out of games uh, as, you're, as you're wandering around kind of thing. But this is really good for developers as well. Uh, so they don't have the gigantic fees, if you like, that perhaps the likes of Apple and Google provide for if you're putting mobile games on there. You see here clearly the distribution fees are a lot less than competitors, which mentions Sting, which is this one here, thirty percent. So distribution fee at twelve percent um, is is quite quite fantastic, really, in my in my opinion. So you've got the referral bonus that brings it down to twelve. It's actually fifteen. So it's still half of what the others are out there as well. So from a development program, you're sort of sitting there as a game developer, perhaps, and you're sitting there going, "Well, I want to make a bit more profit on this. I don't want to be, um, you know, kind of forced, if you like, by the big players." Uh, to to use that and don't get me wrong like ultra is very new compared to the other ones um, but I believe the marketing will continue fantastically I believe that this platform in particular over others will be phenomenal in terms of game development and allowing people to put games on there you can buy and sell um, of course w watching live stream feeds is quite interesting I'll be I wonder if they will ever partner with veracity or if they might even compete with putting something similar in there in terms of like a, a view to earn kind of aspect and things like this. But generally speaking, uh, it's quite similar to the Vera esports aspect. Obviously, you can't build games on Vera esports. You can watch them. Uh, but that's where the advantage of Ultra comes in. Of course, you can compete with tournaments and things like that. But I'd be very interested to see if there was some really awesome par um, partnership. I might even tweet to them and say, like, can you guys get together, please? Because this would be phenomenal. Um, so yeah, very much uh, good stuff always going on around Ultra. And just to reiterate, there's a multitude of games, a multitude of different publications coming out on there. So Thunder Lotus build quite a bit, of, uh, quite a few different games. Uh, Wielder of Magic, quite an interesting one there. CI Games, by the way, they do pretty much every kind of platform you can think of. Uh, but I do, I do feel that um, you know they're going to get a, a big sort of uh, awareness aspect of it, utilizing the likes of Ultra. Um, and yeah, the desktop app's really fluent. Um, we've got some really cool things to show you next week. Show, show you for a few games, how to buy and sell, and uh, the NFT aspects built in, and and things like that. So, one advantage it has over Steam. So, Steam have recently, in their terms and conditions, said they're blocking any kind of crypto blockchain related games on their platform, which I find a bit odd. Um, yeah, I, it's very strange. I think I think their principle of that was around uh, stopping any kind of manipulation or like maybe a gambling feel to it, if you like. But I don't believe that's true at all. Um, I think that uh, they they may make a mistake there. They might change their mind. But Ultra will have the upper hand on that aspect. I think is is still quite new um, um, in that in that situation. But there's going to be a multitude of games flying in here. We've got Wave Two coming. It's been delayed slightly, I believe. That was a bit of a shame. Uh, we did our previous video saying that Wave 2 was coming, uh, but there's some testing aspects that they want to get right, I think, first. So due to unforeseen circumstances about 20 hours ago as of recording, every user had the best experience possible in using our platform will continue working internally to ensure that. So the Ultra Games Wave 2 closed beta will unfortunately be postponed until next week. At least they tell people. 
Uh, that's the main thing. But Wave 1 seems to be very successful. I'm really looking forward to seeing what exactly is being put on for, for Wave 2 um, as we progress. So we'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, do go check out the website. Go and check out the download of the uh, app itself onto your system. And go and play some games. Let us know what you're playing, if you are, um, and what you're looking forward to the most. Uh, this is a phenomenal blockchain technology and a great opportunity for developers as well. Let's go into the chart. Smash that like button if you like what you hear and see. And make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, if you've not done so already, of course. But guys, UOS had a phenomenal rise. Uh, I did take some profits uh, personally when we hit towards uh, these high numbers that we saw yesterday with a high of $2.49. Uh, I need to double check actually if that's our all time high again. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, certainly is on the QCoin data that we have here. Um, but I'll, I'll check that for the next video. But for now, guys, like this has been a phenomenal run 136% uh, up in such a short space of time. So from the 17th of November, that low point there of zero, uh, 1.9 cents, taking it up to $2 is absolutely fantastic. So we've seen obviously some integration of the games coming in uh, and this, that, and the other as well. So, you know, really good things coming up on that. Uh, Microids, which is quite a big, um, if you're into gaming and stuff like that, is really cool publishing partnerships. So I think that's probably had a bit of an influence there as well um, as some other bits and pieces uh, throughout the last sort of few weeks, if you like, of uh, Ultra's information coming out left, right and center. And the NFT standard as well. Um, so just pushing that narrative. So I think there's loads of cool things going on uh, with Ultra to help with that. Um, so guys, yeah, we had the big take up. I've taken profits personally. I've literally bought in earlier back around this 185 mark. I think it actually came down. Uh, I think I missed the full down to 183, but I'm not, not too bothered. Um, I do anticipate that it may still come down a bit more because this, this jump is quite high. And actually to reiterate this, uh, point, uh, if we look back here on the 11th, 12th of August, where we have, or even maybe here as well. These two particular touch points around August time and beginning of September uh, are really good, interesting points from support and resistance aspects. So we again touched up on the 4th of November, had a bit of rejection, very short term one, pulled back up and pulled back down to this area again uh, around the 18th of November. So it's a really interesting point um, of, of view around gaming. We've got the metaverse topics coming in left, right and center as well. So I think gaming in general has had a bit of a hype aspect over the last few weeks for sure ultra is no exception uh, but what i do like so far today is this big retracement and clearly people have bought up that because they believe in the project and what's going to happen with it um but it's touched on this macro fib retracement gray line that you see here at 185 and it's bounced back up it's quite interesting to see that clearly traders are using these kind of areas for for their mechanism of, of buying and selling um even to this point here the green i know it touched up slightly but it's very fairly accurate in my opinion how this sort of 246 level but yeah the high yesterday of 249 was absolutely incredible um will we come back down like i said it's definitely a potential opportunity i don't think it'd be immediate but it'll certainly potentially be gradual we've already touched uh down to this level as we can see today which kind of reflects back here on the 22nd of, of november where we saw resistance on the way up and equally a close um around this kind of area as well sorry an open on that area um, of course, which is understandable because it's the day before um, and we've had the continuation of tailing up. So we've had to drop down back to this 185 area. I do think we could potentially come back to this area again at some point. Um, but it's going to be really about the um, the volumes that are still kicking in. Now, one thing to mention, um, I wouldn't pay too much attention to this pale green histogram layer today because... Uh, obviously, we've had the tail off on a multitude of, of market assets in the last couple of days anyway. Um, but it'd be interesting to see what tomorrow brings, whether we have a continuation down in a wave pattern like this, or if we tail it back up a bit more. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how the next 24 hours play out for EOS. But I wanted to bring this one to your attention because there may be some opportunities in the near future to grab some extra bargains. Now, 
I, I do believe, uh, you know, seeing the RSI yesterday as well going up to 81, I think that's quite top heavy. I don't think it's the highest it could have gone. So we might have a bit of a false retracement here and then another pull up to another maybe potential rise up to this sort of 260 mark and maybe even to 286. I, don't, I think it's a bit far fetched to say it'll go to $3 in a very short period of time. But right now we're floating at that $2 mark. So that's a big move in $1, in my opinion. So. I think because of this nice intake here over the metaverse conversation and a bit more because of a few launches and this and, that and the other, we might see a bit of a, a cooling off period for US so that we can then judge new support lines. I'm hoping that we'd find one at least as a minimum at this 183 level. But like I said, we don't have too many touch points at even these lower regions down here. Uh, but 141, 140 mark could arguably be an area that eventually comes down to before another big take up, perhaps towards the end of December and into next year. We will have to see how that plays out. Uh, but for me personally, it was a good move from my aspect, irrespective of where we come down a bit further. I was happy to take the profits personally at around 245 or 2548 or whatever it was um, and, and buy back down here at 185, I think. I got it uh, back in or just over. So... That was good, uh, but if it does come down a bit lower, fair enough, but I've, I've made that move that I have. I probably could have kept some back, uh, arguably, for these slightly low areas, maybe around 154 and 146. I'm going to draw those in, actually, um, a top level and a high level, just so you guys are familiar with what I'm talking about here. So potentially anywhere, really, around this area could be something that, if you're feeling cheeky, uh, by all means, you can buy now. It's not financial advice or anything like that. Uh, but if you feel like you want to get involved right now or you think there's going to be about maybe to this 190 mark, crack on if you want to. But if you want to be cheeky, that's probably an area that I'd be of, of great interest. As well as, again, um, you know, albeit it's a bit cliche, I would also be looking around this area as well. Again, just in case we have this gradual dip down back here again, whether it be tomorrow or in the next few days, whatever. But they're my areas of interest for US. It's not always about on the way up. It's about opportunity on the way down as well. So weekly, guys, 50% up. Monthly, 247% up. Um, and we are up massively on the year and the year to date as well. 1,500% year to date. That's absolutely incredible. I think there's loads more to come from US Ultra, especially if we can get the Wave 2 sorted out definitely next week, hopefully. I think we'll start seeing a bit more of a pattern of US going up further. Uh, that's my belief in it. So we might have a gradual turn down today because of the Wave 2 announcement of not happening when it should have done. I do think that a bit of this tail up has come because of the anticipation of Wave 2 games coming onto the platform, as well as Metaverse and this, that and the other. So we might have a bit of a consolidation here, Wave 2 being promoted again, coming into fruition and we might see the tail up. Let us know in the comments below what you think UOS could get to end of year, as well as the end of the bull run. This is a phenomenal project in my opinion. Uh, for those that are gamers or not, um, you're interested in gaming in general, you will understand this. Go and check out our intro videos but do understand what this project is potentially capable of doing in the future. I think these price points are so low still, in my opinion. Um, you know, think of other games, not necessarily uh, gaming platforms, but games themselves, of how, how ridiculously priced they are or have been. I mean, look at Alluvium, for example. <laughs> it's not even launched yet, and we're, it's staggering over $1,000. I'm not saying Ultra will do that, but the capabilities of gaming in the crypto blockchain sphere are so underestimated. Um, and certainly a massive, gigantic sector in the world in general. So guys, we're going to wrap that up there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next US update. Bye-bye.